Hi everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I've got a fun project to share with you featuring the new Floral Heart Stamps and Dies by Neat and Tangled. These were just part of the January release. If you haven't checked out the January release with Neat and Tangled, you really should because there's some fantabulous new products there. And let's just dive right in. So I took the Floral Heart image, use them a mini misty. I inked it up with Versa Mark ink, I'm embossing it in clear onto some Nina Solar White cardstock. And then now what I'm gonna do, a little emboss resist to color in my image, I'm using my little mini Distress Inks. What I love about this floral heart image is there's so many fun ways that you can color it. Uh, you could use the Copic markers, which I was gonna do originally. I think you could just stamp this floral heart with uh, some black ink color it in with your Copics. Also, if you want to emboss it in clear like I did here, you could color it with your Zig Clean Color Markers. That would be fun. Or watercolors. Of course, I like to use my mini Distress Inks. They're like, I don't know, I'm so comfortable with them. And I love the colors. You know I'm going to go in rainbow order. I couldn't resist. I got to slip in a rainbow every other project. I mean, it's just, it's who I am. So uh, once I get all my ink blending done, how I like it, I like to take a dry paper towel and go over it and just get it any excess ink that might be laying on top of your embossing that really makes your white come through and pop now what I'm doing here is taking the coordinating die and die cutting my floral heart wreath out like so so I'm gonna do like a little funky layout with my card I mean it's not really funky but let's just call it funky because it sounds cooler that way you know what I mean and I'm trying to keep up with these teenagers here in the house I've got three teenagers now 17 16 and 13 so it's all about being cool you know what I mean at least it's all about attempting to be cool so what I'm doing here is once I got my stripe pattern paper and my white little panel there I'm die cutting the inside of the floral heart I'm gonna make a little window You'll see when I adhere this all together, but uh, right now I'm taking this Say Yes to Donuts stamp set. Love this set. I use this sentiment, have a great birthday. See how it's a one line sentiment? I cut it. Yes, because I like to live on the edge and I'm cool like that. I cut it to make it a two line because I want it to fit inside my little floral heart window. And then I couldn't resist having a couple little kiddos from that Say Yes to Donuts stamp set. So I stamped a little boy and a little girl and I'm quickly very simply coloring them with Copics. You can see my marker caps there if you want to know exactly what colors I used. So I'll just chitty chat with you while I'm coloring. How are you guys doing in the new year? Have you made any resolutions? Are you eating all healthy? Did you do a detox? Uh, me, I actually tried something tonight I did with my daughter. We made the little breakfast egg cup muffins, you know, where you chop up some bacon and I guess that's probably I'm already too off to an unhealthy start, but like some there is some spinach in there, a couple tomatoes, and then you you um, whisk up a bunch of eggs and you pour it in, you bake them, and they in, in a muffin tin. By the way, I forgot to mention that, and so it makes all these little egg muffins, and I'm hoping in the morning they'll eat them. I hope that they don't turn their nose up at them, but well, you know, hey, I'm trying. It's 2017. 2017. I also made. 15 little mini bags, Ziploc bags of smoothie to go things. So like each of them have a little handful of spinach, some mixed berries, and I'm hoping they'll take a bag and we got one of those little magic bullets or whatever, you know, and they make a smoothie in the morning. I'm trying, you know what I mean? You got to give me an A for effort. Okay, so now we're assembling the uh, card together. I'm popping up that white panel. We've got our little floral heart wreath window there, and I've got a couple of the little kiddos. This little boy is going to be peeping out from inside. I can't resist these little kids from the Say Yes to Donuts. I think they're great, fabulous for like grandma cards. That's what I'm thinking. This would be great for grandma. I think they're awesome for teacher cards too. Really cute with the kids. Now, before I go, I can't forget to mention the gorgeous sequins. These are all neat and tangled. There's a couple new colors, bubble gum and sugar plum. I love it, the pink and purple, but I also have used some other colors from neat and tangled. And this card's finished. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.